It's time for lunch on this rainy day. And we're gonna try to put all of this inside the kids' tummies. Forgot to put on the gas. But it's still raining out here. It's like light rain. I'm gonna come over to the car. Turn this thing on here. I need two hands for this. Where we turn this, it's open this way. I'm gonna turn that all the way on so that we can get some stuff in there. Put this back on. Oh, it's raining. I hope I put that on right. I don't even care. It's raining. Look all the way out. The campground is almost empty. That's what I like about fall camping. You have almost the whole campground to yourself. We're gonna let the kids enjoy over here, but it's raining. But they have a lot of entertainment inside. It's 52 degrees outside, 79 degrees inside. Here's the kids again, smiling, watching their television. Never wanted to know what they watching here. This is what they watch. They have the entertainment center hooked up over here. Excuse the mess. Gets messed up during travel day. We just throw it right back up. I don't know if you guys remember that laundry bag I went over in another video, but it's still holding up strong. It's time to get the stove on to start the cooking. Sometimes when you're first getting uh, propane on and you want to cook something, I open up the door let that fresh air come in because sometimes this thing don't cut right on you know you try to like turn it on and uh you turn your burner and nothing happens you just have to oh that one came on so you have to allow the propane time to go through the lines throwing this lean ground beef gotta poke a hole in this Ooh, right into the food there let me do this with two hands anybody ever got a thumb full of ground beef I just did. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of adobo on there. Everything is better with a little bit of adobo, right? Yes, I'm using my fingers, don't judge me. Flip that back over. Put a little bit more adobo on there. Put a little bit of this meat tenderizer on there. Gotta find the hole. You gotta shake it up when you're putting it in. Grab a bit of this onion powder. You know, it's stuck together, so you gotta grab a wee bit of it with your fingers and sprinkle it in there. I'm gonna put some of this paprika in there. Ooh, look at that. I think I'm just gonna start breaking some of this up. It's still a little bit hard. I'm gonna be breaking it up so it can cook a little bit easier. We added the frosting all day, but you gotta work what you gotta work with right all right we have this saw broken up still a little bit frozen but it's ground beef it'll cook put a little bit of black pepper in there that was the door all right we're just gonna stir it up the door just closed from the wind i forgot to lock it back but i don't want it to get too cold in here but as soon as the temperature goes to about 80 degrees in here i'm going to open the door back because when you cook in, especially this dish, it's gonna generate a lot of heat. Water here. Put a pot in. Some I'm in all. One good thing about this stove, it tells you exactly what burner you're gonna turn on. This is the back burner back there. You guys ever season your pasta? I do. Usually put a little bit of adobo in the pasta just to give it a little bit of season. And again, we drained this, so that'll be nice. And the pasta, we put a little bit of this virgin olive oil just to prevent sticking. It's virgin olive oil. Stir it up a bit. Just so that that oil gets through the pasta and on the bottom of the pot here, just a little bit of the virgin olive oil. Once this comes to a boil, the pasta is softened. We drain the water out. This whole time, Matt has been good. So we're going to give him a couple of door treats since he's been so good. I wonder if he hears me. Ooh, this is hard to do with one hand. He loves these milk bones. He got up. 
Hip-hop. We ought to use these to train him. But since he's being so good, we can have some now. Oh, but the kids are still in here. They're <laughs> watching their TV. This thing keep them quiet. What y'all watching? Who? Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. You like it, Kalisha? She's like totally engaged. Get a little free time since they out of school. I can see the temperature gauge, it went up by one. It went down to 75, but it went up by one as soon as that pasta went on. This meal that we're making is called Angry Pasta, and I first saw it on Nomadic Introvert's YouTube page. She saw it somewhere else, but I'm just copying the recipe, adding in some of my own ingredients. Um, but it, it tastes good. I made it before and I was like, dang, I didn't film it. So this time I'm going to film it. It's really, really good. And I'm going to show you just why it's called Angry Pasta. So you can make this with lasagna, but we're going to make it with the noodles. And we add a little bit of different cheeses inside. And you have like this tomato sauce and you have Alfredo sauce. These two sauces together, when you combine them, that's why they call it angry pasta or angry lasagna, however you want to make it. We're making the pasta version. It also has meat in it for the protein, so it's a, it's a good filler. One thing I like about this meal is that the ground beef, it usually cooks really like thoroughly. It cooks fast, so that's why I have it on a low steam. But it has its own oil, so you really don't have to put in any oil in here, so you're not wasting extra ingredients. I just let it cook until all of the red comes out and then it's ready to add to the pasta but the pasta has to finish as well this meal is very quick to to make when it's bad well the outside i just open up the door get him go go pee i let him out to go pee no no go pee go pee he's trained enough where i can let him out but there's no other campus around us, so it's easy to let him out and let him go to the bathroom so that he can pee and come back in. He pooped a little bit earlier, but he didn't pee. So I'll give him plenty of breaks so that he can go out and come back in. Come on, Matt, come in, come inside. Come on, come on. So these Bossler step covers that we installed, they're holding up well. Love rewarding him for good babe behavior. Sit down, Papa. Sit down. Here you go. Such a gentle puppy. So gentle. All right, this ground beef looks cooked, so we're just gonna turn this fire off. Let it just sit there and simmer. What I like to do, I like to add the sauce to the finished product because when I add it to the ground beef, when I then when then I add it to the pasta, it's like I leave some of the sauce behind in the pot with the ground beef. But when I mix the sauce and with the pasta, that's the finished product. So all the sauce is in the food, none left in the pan with the uh, ground beef. I threw the ground beef in there and you know I'm getting every drop of the ground beef out. So that's pretty cool. If you make your food the same way like that, let me know. Let me know in the comments how you do it. I may be doing it wrong. I've been cooking pasta the wrong way that I hear for all my life because some people boil the water, then they put the pasta in. I usually just put the pasta in the water and then let it boil you with the pasta in there. But everybody does it differently. But let me know how you do that as well in the comments. Those of you that are scared to camp in the winter, just start cooking in your RV. You're going to see how fast it heats up in this thing here. I mean, I have to open up the door. The rain is not coming down too hard. It's just like a little drizzle. But you open up the door, you get all of that fresh air in. I don't want to open up my vent fan because I don't want any rain to come in. So I opened up the door and opened up one of the side windows. And uh, it's cool in here now, but I had to open up this door to get a lot of the cool air to come in. All right, the temperature went down two degrees by me opening up the door. I mean, it was hot in here. It can be like 10 degrees outside. And as soon as you turn and you start cooking, your temperature inside is going to go up by like 10 or 15 degrees. Well, if it's 10 degrees outside, you're going to keep your camper above 70. It's very easy just with electric heat. But as soon as you start cooking, it's going to go up by 10, 15 degrees in here. As you can see right now, we have the heater off. And it's about 50 degrees outside. So that you can see in our current area, it's 53 degrees outside. I mean, it's not 
terribly cold, but we out here camping in the rain and we're fine. It's over 70 degrees inside the camper. We have great cell reception because there's not a lot of people here and we're able to stream all our services. This is the old fashioned way to get rid of the water. Too lazy to get the skittle or whatever that thing is called. What's that thing called? Colander, I think. Colander. Bunker colander. You got you got your hands. I drop the pasta in the sink. I go at the sink and get it. Alright, here we throw the ground beef inside the pot. And now you can throw in some of this cheddar jack cheese. You don't really need that much, but just give it some nice cheesy flavor. Just, just a small amount of cheese. Everything goes down easy when it's cheesy, baby. Stir that in. Right, you have that spread throughout. You can add a little bit of shredded mats. And that's how the shredded mats look. You just sprinkle that in and stir it up a bit. Now you add in your tomato sauce. We got this one from Aldi, roasted garlic. And you got a watt so it doesn't overspill. I don't know where our bigger pot went, but... This is all we have for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a mixing bowl and then put it into two different pots because I'm running out of room. Okay, now I'm going to stir this up. It's smoking. Right, this is it all mixed up, but now it's time to make this pasta angry. So let's add in this creamy Alfredo sauce. Here we go. I know people are like, ew, but you have to try it. It is really good. Okay, so this in a nutshell is your angry pasta. I'm going to put it back on the pots for about five minutes. Let it heat up a little bit more and then it's ready to serve. We just let that warm up. And it's ready to serve, lunch made. Now, one of the reasons why I like doing this in a big pot so I don't have to, I can avoid this. You see all of the sauce? I like to have all of that in the food. Still good, but that little bit of sauce that was left could have been in the food. Okay, so remember, we opened up the door and the window. Temperature went down to 71. Remember, it's in the low 50s outside. We finished cooking, so I'm going to show you this again when it goes back up. Here's the food, ready to go. When you have kids, you generate a lot of garbage. That's just from today. That's nuts. That big box of pasta doesn't last long in the house when you have all of us in here. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, Grayson. I always ask the kids it's okay because there's only a few dishes that I know how to make and a few recipes I can follow. So keep the easy recipes coming. So let's try this out. Oh, wow. It's more flavorful than last time I made it. It's really good. You can look at it. It's nice and cheesy. Creamy too. That sauce makes the pasta go down a lot easier. Sorry about the glare from the light. We have the shades closed and it's dark in here. Mm. This warms your soul when they tear up everything you put in the plate. Now they're back in the room watching their television. What y'all watching now? Goosebumps. Who? Goosebumps. Love they TV. They love looking at the screen. <laughs> that rain is coming down now. I don't know if you can hear it, but that's on the vent. Gotta let the dog out to go to the bathroom. Sorry, Mac, again. It's time for him to go pee. Go pee, puppy. Go pee. Ooh, it is raining out there. No. Go pee. He likes drinking up that water, and the rain is coming down everywhere. Let you guys see it on the street there. You can see the rain coming down. But we're surviving a Pennsylvania rainstorm in the campground. Go pee, Poppy. No. No. Go pee. Go pee. Maybe he doesn't have to pee. 
Sometimes he's like me, he can squeeze a little something, something out. Well, look at that rain. Come on, come back in. You don't have to pee. Come in. Come on. Come on. Come in. Come on. Come on, puppy. No. No. Come on. Come inside. Come. I'm like making the steps. Let me close this door. Rain is coming down. When it's storming outside, we have all sorts of things that we do inside of this RV. One of them is playing the video games as a family. We got children's games. We got our adult games. My wife is hot and behind me right there. I see it. Look, she was like, no, put me on camera. Then she smiled and said, oh, shoot, I'm on camera. <laughs> <laughs> all right, me and Grace is going to go for round one in this burial cart right here on the screen here. That's third place. You left or right, Chris? Huh? You left or right? Uh, I'm in first place right now. I'm glad you're right now. I, I am still for Mario. You can do the whole race, guys. Yes, I'm getting to Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, no. Record the whole race. Oh, I like that. Oh, Please don't. Throw the stuff. I'm, I'm just gonna trophies of this family. Is me second or first? Mommy's turn. See how she does. This is one of the great things. You don't need internet what? to play this to go against each other. We do have Wi-Fi in there, but why use up the extra spot when you can play this like this? In these games, they take like maybe two, three minutes. You know, the winner keeps playing. <laughs> 
<laughs> Unless they get tired, but this is just one of the games we have. We have like three consoles in here. We have the Xbox. We have the Nintendo Switch. And we have the new Steam Deck by Valve. That one is pretty awesome, man. Family game night. You're gonna beat me already. And he keeps on getting points. Let's go! Is that you? Yes, it was me. I like listening to the commentary. <laughs> what are you? Yes, yeah, first. Yeah, I'm first. Come on, dude. You are good too. Oh, my. I need to get these first. Last lap. See if they're going to do. Are you crazy? So, first. Someone can't see with the things on. He cheated right at the end where I was gonna win. Just realized that. Oh no, no. You can't cheat in Mario Kart. You can't pull a box. No, no, no. Crazy no, saying no, you no, can't no. cheat. No. I don't got you. No. Yes. Don't tell me little Grayson is going to go 2-0 against the parents and we're the gamers in the family. No! 2-0. <laughs> 2-0. <laughs> you see how he be cheating? I told you he be cheating. Oh, my mom. Uh, I think you didn't finish it, mommy. I didn't. I'm trying. You're going the wrong way, mommy. <laughs> I was looking at the right side. <laughs> <laughs> 10th place. She got 10th place. Let's see if Melanie is going to be our saving grace. Get up running this. You got kids. Let them see it. <laughs> the adults oh. probably not going to want to see this. No. My mom is in first. I'm second. I'm going to get her. Go, Melanie. Never mind. I'm not. Fruitless World. What is that? Fruitless World? Yes. No. Oh, yes, I'm in first round. Yes. They underwater. Come on, get it going. Come on, get it going. No! How do they know how to play this? I'm being a cheater. No, 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 This is crazy. I'm actually entertained watching these two race with each other. I mean, you can play this for hours. Oh, they're so close to each other. Oh. <laughs> she crashed into a wall by herself. Is going to go 3 and 0? Or is he going to go 2 and 1? What? Who keeps on hitting me? They have one more length. we taking this for the whole way again. No! 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 
get it too. Yes. No. No. Oh, he got those things to bang Melanie. Boom. He hit her right in the head. Grayson is celebrating a little bit too fast there. Grayson's going, gonna, is he gonna go three and oh? Let's see. Melanie has second. Right behind me. I'm supposed to No, I did not. This is crazy when your kids can beat you in these games. Grace is still in first. Grace in the championship for this. Please do. This is cheating. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. He's cheating. He's not cheating. You're a cheater. Somebody in the back room said you're a cheater. This game might seem like it's lasting longer. <laughs> Grayson is three and zero. Let's look at the uh, the rankings here. I'm gonna get the medal. Grayson was number one. Melanie was number six. He cheated. Grayson, are you cheating? Yes, he is. I think it's Mac, the controller. Mac, am I cheating? Mac, what are you doing? He's cheating. What are you Mac, doing, jump on Mac? me if I'm cheating. <laughs> Remember that temperature from earlier? It's getting cold as the day progresses. And we're still at 79 degrees. Kids are back watching their television. Did Grayson cheat, Melody? Yes. No, dear. <laughs> yes, you are. This is the new Steam Deck, Valve Steam Deck. Follow me for the latest review of this Steam Deck. Come closer, you can see it. This is Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. Works just like in the video games. It's pretty cool. Just like on the Xbox. Same graphics. Again, we all the way in the campground doing this. The graphics are amazing. The screen is huge. This can also... Oh, that guy scared me. This can also hook up to a TV. Oh, God, I'm down. Got me going down. On a dang on recording. Finally, that storm's passed. I'm outside. You still feel a little drizzle, but that's okay. I'm going to end the video here and enjoy the rest of the day with the family. Remember, hit the subscribe button, like button, comment below. Let us know what you do with your family and you have big rainstorms that rains the entire day. It's still drizzling out here, but not that much. But let me know what you do. Let me know if you disagree with what we do. Some people, a lot of people actually that we find disagree of what we do during rainstorms or downtown time when we are RVing. But remember guys, check out the RV Adventure, the Smalls RV Adventure store. It's down to the right or to the bottom of the video. Check out our Amazon storefront. You can see all of the products that you see us use it inside the RV during these rainstorms. They're available in our Amazon storefront. So check that out. That's all I got for you this week. See you later, everybody. I'll leave you with a look at the Chevy.